Whew, yesterday had a little bit too much RAM, but nonetheless, let's get it. This is the single most greatest concept to understand if you're selling services that it, there's a value equation of your service and then there's a cost equation of the service what the client buys let's say you want to increase the value of your services with four things which i'm going to cover in this video and you want to decrease the cost for the client with these four things as well and in order for you to sell more you need to create more value and lower the cost so what are the value factors First and foremost, it's not your service. It is the outcome, result, feeling that there's that your service actually provides. For Facebook ads, it's not Facebook ads. It is actually a predictable way of getting you customers. Let's say for the bookkeeping services. It is the convenience that your books will be clean, it will be organized, and you will have clearness of your company's situation real time. That is number one. And that should be the biggest thing you always focus on in your ads, in your sales, and in your messaging. Then the next one, that is the services you provide, the AKA deliverables. Okay, third one is bonuses. What kind of bonuses can you give that in a, in a way kind of solve different problems, provide different values that looks good to them, right? That is additional. And the number four is guarantees, which are three kind of guarantees. First and foremost, it's anti-guarantee. You just don't do any guarantees or you just like say that there's no refunds. You can actually say that in a copy or conditional or unconditional conditional meaning there are certain things you need to do in order to get a refund or to get your product to back or to give your product back or unconditional you don't like anything 14 40, 14 days we give you your money back or we ship you a new product that is the value side of the services right and this you want to increase you want to increase that thing okay the cost most of you think is just the client giving you money that's what most of you think and it which is true and it's wrong at the same time actually what the client gives is also time if they give you time they're like thinking ah oh, how much time is this service gonna take how long is it gonna be that is also a thing that they are actually giving you and you want to try to lower that right next thing it is effort work how much did they need to give you that? Also, your goal should be lower it. Sometimes you don't need to lower it, but you need to communicate it in a way how it seems, perceives at less, such as we have everything templatized, we have everything ready, the systems are pre-built, you just need to plug and play, all of these mumbo jumbo words. That is how you decrease the, the perceivedness of effort and work. And last thing here, it is risk. Like what kind of risks are associated to the thing that you are selling? AKA, not just it's gonna work or not gonna work, but AKA how it's gonna affect their relationships with their women, how it's gonna affect their society's perceivedness of them. If they buy this product, are they like, what the hell is wrong with them? You know, like all sorts of mumbo jumbo things. Quick example, like a housewife, would not buy a new Bentley, but she would buy a mini one because she, her society uh, with free male friends, all of them have minivans. And if she buys like a Bentley, they the, the community would think like, who's that girl? Is she like so fancy? She doesn't have a minivan and stuff like that. That's what people think about. You maybe don't think about it, but people think about it. So think about these things try to lower them so that you can increase and also at the same time increase the value and let me give you a last example that's gonna make a home run for this point okay so let's say there are two cars this car it's a piece of shit and this car brand new bmw asking you can you sell them for thirty thousand? the shitty car probably in a in a rusty like place you can get it for 200 euros but this one brand new 150 150 000. could you sell them for 30,000 within the next 48 hours. Which one could you sell? Probably the BMW. Why? Because the value is here and the costs, risks, AKA all the other stuff is way less, right? And you will find the money. This is when you build enough value for your services 
people who usually don't have the money, they can find the money. They can sell some stuff. They can get the money. They can find, they can be resourceful, right? That's what Tony Robbins teaches. Be resourceful. Don't let your bank account determine your decisions. Be resourceful of finding a way to do stuff. Do stuff. That's it for this video. I'm gonna have a sip of cappuccino. Lovely cappuccino. Latvia makes the greatest cappuccino in the world. So stay sharp and I see you in the next video.